In this video, we're going to discuss several advantages of the corporate budgeting process. So budgeting is incredibly time consuming. Managers are going to spend a lot of their time creating a budget, submitting it to higher level management, trying to get it approved, going back and forth, and in some cases even fighting. There will be fights between departments over who gets what resources and so forth. So this budgeting process can be very, very complicated and lead to issues and quarrels between people at the same company. So then the question is, well, why are we even doing budgeting? If it takes so much time, it's, it's, it's resources, and it's just gonna lead to fighting, then what's the point? And the reason we do the budgeting process is because there's several very important things that we get from budgeting, particularly that help. it's helpful with planning and control. So planning is basically has to do with setting goals, and then control has to do with making sure the company achieves those goals. But I want to go through this in a little more detail to give you some ideas of what I'm talking about. So in terms of planning, think about it like this. Budgets force people to think about the future. So people get so caught up in the day-to-day. -day. They're thinking about the short term. They're thinking about this week, trying to get their job done, which is great. But we need to think, OK, what about six months from now? What about one year from now? We need to think about, OK, how are we going to acquire resources? How are we going to use those resources? What is our cash position going to be like one year from now? So putting together a budget is going to force you to actually put on paper and say, OK, what is it going to look like 12 months from now for our firm? And so we can go and come up with a plan of, well, how are we going to achieve our goals? If we say, okay, this is the amount of profitability we want to achieve. We want this to be our net income and this to be our earnings per share and so forth. We can put it out in budgets and say, okay, how are we going to actually achieve that goal? Let's see, how would we get to that budgeted income statement, the budgeted balance sheet and so forth, and then a bunch of supporting budgets that actually show the steps that the company is going to need to carry out in order to achieve achieve those goals and how we're going to coordinate the resources among the different departments. How many resources are we going to devote to the marketing of our product and so forth, right? So we can think about how we're going to manage all the company's resources and we set out an actual plan and we lay it out and say, okay, this is how we are going to achieve our goals. This is how we're going to hit this target net income and so forth. And then also we can think not just about our profitability, but managing cash. And that's, we're going to have a specific budget, the cash budget that is strictly focused on managing cash. Because remember, it is is, is so critical that a company would manage its cash because if at any point the company runs out of cash then the company is going to become bankrupt remember companies can continue indefinitely if they lose money uh, provided that investors are can continue to put up capital but if the company ever runs out of cash it's not going to be able to pay its employees it's not going to be able to pay its suppliers and so forth and the company will go out of business so we can put together a cash budget and say okay how are how much cash are we going to have three months from now how much cash are we going to have six months and if we see that at some point oh we're not going to have cash we're going to run out of cash we could take action today to do something about the future okay so that's it's just some of the ideas on how budgets can help with planning so planning again kind of comes back to we're setting goals right we're setting these goals but then once we set the goals and we put together the budgets, we don't want to just put the budget and just, just make it and then just forget about it. That, that would defeat the entire purpose. We want to actually go, control is about actually going and saying, okay, did we achieve our goals? Are we actually going? And, and so let's say, for example, that one of our goals is we wanted to spend less money on uh, raw materials, right? Some, some resource that we're thinking of. And we say, you know what, we've been spending too much money on it. So we can actually go and say, all right, here's our budget. Here's how we're going to spend less, less money on the raw materials this coming quarter. But then we can go after the fact and see, okay, did we spend too much money or not? Now, it's a little more complicated than that because our activity level might be different from what we budgeted, right? We might have more customers than we thought we would. And that's actually going to get into a thing called flexible budgeting, where we're actually going to go and adjust our planning budget to the actual activity level. We'll talk about that in another video. But right now, the main point is we're not just making these budgets for the heck of it and then just forgetting about them. You make the budget and then you go after the fact and say, OK, did we do a good job managing our resources? Did we spend too much money on raw materials? Did we spend too much money on SG&A? And if we do find that, yes, there was a problem, our performance was different from what 
we had expected at the beginning of the quarter, at the beginning of the year, now we can take action. The whole purpose is that we want to make these budgets and we're, and we're going to say, okay, here are our goals. Here's what we're trying to achieve. But then we go and say, all right, did we achieve those goals? And if not, if we say, you know what, we see some kind of issue here, and, and we'll talk about this in the future videos, we'll talk about a thing called variance analysis, and we'll talk about a number of different ways that we can actually measure whether we did achieve our goals or not, then the managers can go and say, all right, we actually are just spending way too much on resources. I, I've seen that I've, you know, from our budgeting process, we're doing a poor job controlling the cost. And so now I'm going to take action and we're going to do something about it.